Well, Saturday was National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, and officials say it's now easier than ever before to properly dispose of unused prescription drugs. Brendan Scanlon has more. Each year, the DEA hosts two prescription drug take back days, one in the spring and one in the fall. To collect unwanted, expired, unneeded medications and then dispose of them safely. Department so of Drug and Alcohol Program's today. Secretary Jen Smith says in April, 33,000 pounds of medications were collected and destroyed. When you consider that one pill weighs about the same as a sheet of paper, really puts the magnitude of 33,000 pounds into perspective. Since the establishment of Pennsylvania's drug take back program in 2015, there has been over 1 million pounds of prescription medication destroyed, equivalent to the weight of an Airbus A380 or roughly 40 school buses. Officials say many Pennsylvanians struggle with opioid misuse as a result of leftover or unused prescriptions. We know that 70% of Pennsylvanians who misuse opioids get them from a friend or relative's medicine cabinet. 60% of Pennsylvanians who are prescribed opioids end up with leftover pills. And four out of five heroin users begin struggling with substance abuse disorder through abusing prescription drugs. There are 900 take back locations across Pennsylvania's 67 counties that are available year round. They could be found at many pharmacies, libraries, and state police barracks. When it comes to prevention, I'm proud to say our agency has 65 prescription drug take back boxes installed in the lobby of our stations in nearly every county. These drug take back boxes offer the public a safe, easy and anonymous way to drop off your unwanted or expired prescription medications. In Harrisburg, Brendan Scanland reporting. Brendan, thank you. Officials say to refrain from disposing medications down your sink or toilet as this could contaminate water supplies. They say the best and safest way to use a drug take back box near you, which are available 24 seven. You can find the nearest one by checking out our website, WNYnewsnow.com.